Hi, this is Math 6, Lesson 4-10, Relate Tables, Graphs, and Equation. In this lesson, we'll analyze the relationship between dependent and independent variables in tables, graphs, and equations. This will be our last lesson of the topic, so pay attention. Let's look at solve and discuss the question. Nancy walks four blocks to Maria's house. Together, they continue to walk. The walk can be described as n equals n plus 4, where n is the number of blocks Nancy walks and m is the number of blocks Maria walks. Describe how the equation, data table, and graph reflect the walk. Have you ever walked to school or to the park with a friend? Yeah? If so, did you walk the same number of blocks? Maybe you, when you go to school, it's closer, but if you go to a park, you, you, it's, it's further down um, and in different directions. So if you look at this map here, Nancy's house is right here. Maria's house is right here. Okay. And then we have the equation, the walk, n equals n plus 4. And n is number of blocks. Nancy walks one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Um, and M is the number of blocks Maria walks. Okay. So let's describe how this equation, data table, and graph reflect the walk. How how would we describe the relationship in the equation? Okay, is Nancy walking more or would Maria walk more? So if Nancy walks, if Nancy walks four blocks, Maria, how much would Maria walk? Maria would walk, you subtract four on both sides, right? and then you get zero right so then let's make a table to show the relationship between maria and nancy okay oh there we go there's a table so n equals um n plus four in this equation if Maria walks one block, Nancy walks five blocks, okay? If Maria walks two blocks, Nancy walks six blocks. Maria walks three blocks, Nancy walks seven blocks. So Maria always uh, walks less and Nancy always walks four more blocks than Maria does, okay? So what can we say? Each value of N, is four more than m. And also looking at this uh, graph, what can you say? Each y coordinate, so this is the y coordinate, that's one comma five, two comma six, three comma seven. That's x and y, right? So each y coordinate is four more than the x coordinate. Okay, so what do we say? In the equation, the number of blocks Nancy walks n is four more than the number of blocks Maria walks, which is represented in M. Okay, that is how you can read the equation in this situation. Okay, let's look at focus on math practices. Draw a line through the points on the graph 
What order pair on the line includes m equals five? Explain what that order pair represents. So if you draw a line through these points, you'd be able to draw a, a, a linear equation on the graph, right? There you go. Where is um, m is equal to five? M is your x, right? So your m is here. Where is the point on the line? Five comma nine, right? So that is your point, five comma nine. What would this pair, order pair represent? M, your X value represents the number of blocks Maria walks. And so this is Maria. And this is Nancy, right? So when Maria has walked, okay, five blocks, Nancy has walked nine blocks is what this point means. Let's look at, let's think about this essential question. How can you analyze the relationship between dependent and independent variables using tables, graphs, and equations? So we're not just, just going to look at equations, we're gonna look at graphs and tables today as well. Look at example one, relate quantities using a table, a graph, and an equation. The booster club members want to raise $50 to donate to a local charity. They buy pom-poms for $0.55 each, which is 55 cents. How many pom-poms do they need to sell to reach their fundraising goal? Okay. So this is a fundraiser, they want to, uh, they have a goal, right? The booster club raises 45 cents for each pom-pom they sell. Okay. So every pom-pom they sell, they earn 45 cents, okay? So let's make a table to relay the number of pom-poms, which is N, number of pom-poms, so this n to the amount of money raised r r is the independent variable so it's the y um and the number of pom-poms sold it's wait independent is is um the x value okay and then the amount of money raised would be the dependent variable which is uh on your y-axis so the amount of rays depends on the number of pom-poms sold. So we can graph the order pairs, 10 comma 4.5, 50 comma 22.5, uh, 110 comma 49.5. And let's draw a straight line through those points. We'll get a straight line. And all these points on the line represent how much uh, you raise for each number of pom-poms. And of course you can't sell half pom-poms. So your points all have to be integers. Your X uh, values have to be um, positive integers. So let's write an equation that describes the relationship. We can say that the money raised R is equal to 0.45 times n because every number of n sold we raise 0.45. So if you multiply that with the number of pom pom sold, that is our total cost of fundraising money. Okay, so how much would we raise if we sell 50 pom poms? Or wait, how much do we need for $50, right? So then substitute 50 to R because R represents the number, uh, the amount raised. So put 50 into R and solve for N, we need to sell 
uh, we need to the n is going to be 111.11, .11, but we're, we can't sell 0.11 pom poms, right? So we need to sell at least 112 pom poms to raise $50, okay? So do not round this down. 111 pom poms would be less than $50. Okay, so we need to sell 112 pom poms to raise $50. Let's try this question. The booster club now raises $0.45 for each pom pom they sell. Complete the table and graph. Write, this, write the self equation to find how many pom poms they need to sell to raise $50. Okay, now they, they only earn uh, 41 cents instead of 45 cents. Okay, so now how, how many pom poms do we have to sell? We got some points, okay? 0 0.41 times 50 is 20.50. And then 0 0.41 times 100 is $41. 150 would be 61.5. So let's graph them. 50 comma 20.5. Okay, and then 100 comma 41. Okay, and then uh, 150 comma 61.5. Okay, there we go. So we can put a straight line. Through those points. Um, and how much do we need? to raise $50, this is $50, okay? So we need to sell about 125 pom poms, okay? In order to be exact, you need to solve an equation. So your equation is R equals 0 0.41N. And substitute 50 in there, 0.41N, solve for N. You're gonna, you're multiplying 0 0.41. So you're gonna divide 0 0.41 to get one N. Okay, so N is equal to 50 divided by 0 0.41 is gonna be 121.9510195 dot dot dot. Okay, so are you gonna round it up or down? You round it up, you have to sell at least 122 pom poms. Okay, how does finding three values for x and y help you represent the relationship between x and y? So, how do these three points help you? makes you, it helps you draw a straight line and figure out a pattern and uh, gives you an equation, right? So you can say that the three values can be graphed to make a line that represents the equation. Okay. So it may be hard to recognize the equation just when reading your problem. So first of all, make a table and then try to graph it. And you'll see a straight line and think about, think about, um, your independent variables and the dependent variables. Okay, let's look at example two on the next page. Relate an equation with two operations to a table and a graph. The temperature was six degrees Celsius at 8 a.m. and increased two degrees Celsius each hour for six hours, one spring day. What was the temperature after six hours? Okay, the starting temperature is six degrees Celsius. So if you make a table, um, number hour zero is six, you start there. And then every hour, wait, um, at, after two hours, okay, 
um, it's 10 degrees because it increases two degrees every hour. Okay, so then first hour, it's going to be eight. After one hour, it's going to be eight. And after two hours, it's 10. After three hours, it's 12. Fourth hour, 14, and so on until the sixth hour, okay, which is going to be 18. What was the temperature after, right after six hours? 18, right? The temperature was 16. The uh, temperature was 18 after six hours. You can draw a table and you can draw a graph and there's going to be a straight line. Let's look at try a question. A company makes decorations for pens. All the supplies cost $5 each and the company plans to sell the decorations for $2 a piece. Analyze the relationship between the number of decorations sold and the profit by completing the table and the graph. Use the table and the graph to write and solve an equation to find the number of decorations they must be sold for the company to make a $15 profit. Try this on your own and come back when you are ready. First of all, x is an independent variable, y is a dependent variable. So x would be the decorations sold, it, it causes the profit, right? Profit depends on the number of decorations sold. So if you sold three, decorations, you get a profit of, well, first think about five, okay? If you sell five, all the supplies cost $5, right? So, and the company plans to sell decorations for $2 a piece. So then you get $3 profit um, every, every, for every um, decorations you sell. So three comma one, four comma three, and five comma five. Okay, three comma one, four comma three, five comma five. And draw a straight line. How do you get $15 profit? Your, first of all, your equation should be y equals two x minus five. And so X should be 10 decorations. Okay, figure out using the graph. So in this lesson, we learned about relating tables, graphs, and equations. First, draw the table and draw the graph to figure out your equation and look at the points. Thanks, bye.